Okay. Hi, my name's Kerry Reed Searle. I've been asked today to talk about feedback. I'm actually waiting on feedback myself from students' evaluations. And I say to students, what do I want feedback for? Because I need to know what is it that's working well in this course and what is it that I need to improve on in order to make that learning journey for better for students in the future. Now my feedback essentially is based on the feedback that I give to students as well, as well as other things that I do in learning and teaching. So what is it about feedback to me that's so important? Feedback gives direction, it gives guidance, it talks about the strengths, it talks about the weaknesses and there's difference between constructive feedback and destructive feedback. So I reflect back as a learner myself, the first assignment that I ever got. When I received that assignment, I looked through it and there was nothing there. There was some ticks there, there was some, a few words, but it gave me nothing about why I got the grade that I did. I challenge everybody when they're giving us feedback to students to think of themselves as learners and what is it that they would like in terms of giving direction for future papers. There's different things that I look at with assessment in my course. I can give immediate feedback in a laboratory context where students are doing skills and I can say that's great or yes let's work in this way. We debrief after every session and we talk about the directions and ways we can improve and what worked well. I also have feedback on a regular basis on Moodle where students can ask questions and I give them feedback in terms of yes this is a really good idea, perhaps you might want to think about this or perhaps you're on that wrong tangent and you need to refocus on this, this or this. But assignments are probably the biggest thing that I look at in terms of constructive feedback. How do I do this? First of all my feedback is also based for students on the clear expectations that are given to students at the outset of their assignment. So when students do what is expected of them because those guidelines are clear, the marking criteria is clear, the expectations are clear. When students receive feedback, it's simple in terms of I didn't meet the expectations that were set. But when students get upset because feedback hasn't been sufficed, often that has been based on the fact that the clear directions were not given by the lecturer at the outset of that assignment task. The other thing that I do with assignments is work very closely with markers that I'm working with. And that is, they are all very clear of the marking expectations and the marking criteria. We gather together, we mark randomly assignments and then come back together and moderate those to ensure that we are all on the same page. I have a bank of comments that I regularly use for first year students and I give these to markers to ensure that there's some consistency in the comments that are given. For example, what's in an introduction, what's in a conclusion, what's in a paragraph, etc. And so that when students receive those assignments back, it's like, oh yes, I can learn from this and go on to the next, as opposed to nothing in it. The other thing is that difference between constructive and destructive. Think about the mood you are in when you are giving feedback to students on written assignments. If it's late at night and that is the last assignment that you're marking for that evening or that you've had some negative ones in the past, put it down and sit aside so that you come back fresh because sometimes our human nature allows us to put in negative comments which can be very soul destroying for students. So careful too in terms of spelling and typos that we give in feedback. If we're giving students feedback about sentence structure or spelling and then you look at your own feedback and you've made a spelling mistake yourself, it doesn't look too good. I've just had students come back with their assignments. In this course, this is the first time that I've seen quite a few failures. I said to a group of students yesterday, I'm waiting for the negative feedback on Moodle. I'm waiting for students to comment about the feedback that they get. And those students said, but why would we comment? The assignment was clear, the directions were clear, the feedback was intense and we can learn from that. And no lecturer failed us, we failed ourselves because we didn't do what was asked of us in the first place. So my message, I guess, is be very careful about what you set in terms of expectations and make sure that your feedback 
is consistent with what you ask students to do. And remember, kiss, kick, kiss. A kiss is find something good about everything that students are doing. Even if they are doing the most appalling assignment, maybe it's their writing, uh, their print is nice or their font is nice. Something is good. Then constructive feedback and then finish with something else that can be positive so that they don't walk away thinking, I'm never going to do this again. Thank you.